Hello. In this episode, I'm going to explain how to perform a simple inspection. In the previous episode, I have shown you how to import both nominal and actual data. The nominal data is always locked in its position and the actual data will be aligned to it. This is called an alignment. As mentioned before, you can have several alignments in your project, such as local best fit or RPS. But you have to start first with an initial alignment to bring the two datasets together. The pre-alignment aligns the actual data independently by its start position. You are now able to compare the two data meshes. As there are so many coordinates to compare, GovernSpec can display the deviations of the actual data to the nominal data via surface comparison. You can adjust the legend by clicking on the upper or lower limits. Use the link button to scale the legend symmetrically for positive and negative deviations. The color red means that the material lies above the CAD surface. The color blue means that the material lies below the CAD surface. You can also get more discrete values for these deviations with the deviation labels. Press the control key to get a preview for the area of interest and create the deviation label with a left mouse button click. You can abort the function with a right mouse button click. You can also have a go-no-go -no -go representation of the surface comparison. This representation shows you whether the deviations are inside or outside of the given tolerance. In order to compute such representation, you have to apply the tolerances to the cat first. You can do that in two ways. You apply the tolerance globally to the surface comparison in the properties window. Or you apply the tolerances on individual patches with the function edit patches. Select the patches with control and a left mouse button click, enter the tolerance or just scroll with a mouse wheel. Multiple selections are possible. Please make sure that under Properties, Tolerances, Tolerance Source, From Cat is enabled. You can also use a full field comparison for sections. The function for this comparison is called Inspection Section. You can choose a reference plane and create a section at any position parallel to it. Just use drag and drop from the Explorer to make an element exclusively visible. Again, you can place deviation labels to get discrete values. A clipping plane along a section allows you to look into a part. Select clipping plane and choose the side you would like to clip. At the same time, the picture in picture appears, which gives you an overview of the area you are looking at. As mentioned before, you can have many different alignments in your project. The previously created pre-alignment occluded an additional best fit alignment. However, this best fit was computed over all data. A local best fit can be used for a local inspection of a situation. For instance, I can observe local deviations on the M here and here. Now, the M is a removable component of the GOM training object and I suspect that the M was not mounted correctly. But I cannot be certain as the deviations may also be local defects on the M itself. Do I have a form error or a position error? So I select the M on the mesh data and perform a best fit alignment. You can use a combination of select through surface and deselect through surface. Finish the selection with plus or deselection with minus on the right mouse button. As soon as I click OK, the software recalculates all elements of the project automatically. Let's have a look at the surface comparison. The deviations have disappeared on the M and re-emerged on the GOM training object. The conclusion is that the M was not correctly positioned and the deviations were not caused by a form error. This sort of analysis is a quite typical application for local best fit. You can now switch between the pre-alignment and the local best fit alignment. 
The software recalculates all elements automatically. You have now created quite a few inspection results. You can document the results at any point with the report page. Just click on Create Report Page. Choose now your desired template type and also the format. You may also enter a report name. If you click on Edit Content, you can readjust the position of the content in the 3D view by having the dimension of the report page. Please watch episode 6 for further information regarding report pages. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to perform dimensional inspections.